Okay, so problem 4.2, we're asking ourselves a very simple question. What's left? So after we are reducing, after we are losing, after we are decaying, this is where that word comes in, decay. We're asking ourselves, well, what is left over? So the question we were asked was something along the lines of, Diego has $100 and he spends a quarter of that. So what is left over after he spends a quarter? So we have a couple ways of thinking about this, right? We could say, all right, well, if I know he spends a quarter, then we're taking away a quarter of the total. So this is where we're asking in step one, we're saying we start with the $100 and we subtract a quarter of the hundred dollars. So that's what we're saying right here. We start with a hundred and we subtract a quarter of it because you spent a quarter of your money. Okay. Step two is really what we're doing in step two is if you notice that a hundred shows up twice. So this here is we have a common factor. There's that, there's that phrase again. We have a common factor of 100, and so we pull that out. So we put the 100 on the outside, and then there's 100 minus a quarter of it. Now, step three here looks like what we did is we just simplified 1 minus 1 quarter, which gives us 3 quarters. And then the only difference in step four is that we usually put the three quarters in front. So if you asked yourself the question, well, how much do you have left over after you spent a quarter of your money? I think all of us could kind of sit there and just think, well, I'd have three quarters left. Because if you start with your whole and you take away a quarter, then whatever you Whatever's left, one minus a quarter will be whatever you have left. So this is kind of a, it's just a way to illustrate how that idea works. So we know that you're going to have three quarters of your money left over if you spend a quarter of it. All right, so let's think about this then in number two. A person makes $1,800 per month but one third of that amount goes to pay her rent. What two numbers can we multiply to find out how much she has after paying her rent? Well, think about it, right? If we're spending a third, that means what are you going to have left over? Well, you're going to have two thirds of it. So you're going to have two thirds left over and you need to times that by whatever your total was. So in this case, times 1,800, right? If you spend a third, what do you have left? Everything else that got you to the whole. So two thirds left over times it by your total. So number three says, write an expression that uses multiplication, only uses multiplication, that is equivalent to X reduced by one eighth of X. So we're really saying X and we want to take away an eighth of X. So it's the same idea, right? If we're taking away a quarter, we have three quarters left. If we're taking away a third, we have two thirds left. So if we're taking away an eighth, we have seven eighths left. So we can write an expression seven eighths times X. That says we took away an eighth and so we have seven eighths left over. So we're all this thing, this word decay is always thinking about what is left after some of it goes away. And that's the idea we want to continue with here in this lesson.